There are a lot of features in Schoology that you can use to help differentiate your content for your students. Uh, the main being the, the ability for you to create individual student groupings within your Schoology courses from your existing rosters. Now the advantage of doing that, if you have predetermined groups of specific students, uh, it gives you the ability to individually assign things like quizzes, assignments, discussions, and other kinds of content that you'd be putting into your Schoology courses. Now when you individually assign something, it would appear for anyone that you will assign it to and it would appear to not even exist to everyone else. So it's a way to kind of blindly assign content to students so no one really knows about these groups and it's just a really good way for you to kind of just set everything up on your end. Now I'm going to go through a couple steps of what you need to do in order to begin doing this. Uh, you should already have some Schoology courses with rosters in place. Um, so what you need to do is to go into the specific course where you want to create student groupings and then go into the members section to view that actual course's roster. Here we can see the roster. This is just an example induction course that I'm using here. Um, but what we want to click on here is the organize members into grading groups area which appears on the right side of the screen here and if you hover over it it says add grading group. Let's go ahead and click that. Now here you're going to see your roster and a group name um, where you'll be able to give the group a name and then tell who you want to belong to that group. There's no limit to how many groups you can create, so I'm going to go ahead and call this one Group A. And let's go ahead and add Clayton, Rachel, Stacy, and Michelle to that group. And I can see here that there are four people in that group. I could search for additional names if they aren't appearing, but now I'm going to save that for Group A. Let's create that. And then they will appear here after you create the actual groups. So the gear is how you would go in and edit the name. So you can always add or, add or remove members at any given point. So I'm going to do a group B now. So I clicked add grading group. Let's call it group B. Jessica, Amy, Janine, Andrew, and Genevieve. Create grading group. So now I have two groups, group A and group B. Uh, to show you what the edit looks like, if you go into the gear to the right of any of these groups, go to edit, it just takes you back to this screen where you can either uncheck people or add additional names and then um, save by hitting create grading group. So that's all you need to do to actually create the groups. Now that you have them created, anytime you assign content or add materials to this course, if it has the ability to be individually assigned, there's a little button that you have to click. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go back to the materials section of this course. Now remember those groups that we just made are only tied to this course, so they will not carry over to anything else. And students have no way of knowing that they belong to a group or don't belong to a group, so it's good to know. I'm going to go into this Mrs. Mr. Rossman's class here, my example. Let's say I wanted to throw out a lesson, and I wanted it just to go to the students in group A. So if I go to add materials, and if I my lessons in the form of a page, just content for the students to read or videos to watch, things like that. So I'm going to say lesson one. The individual assignment button is this three little dots forming a triangle. If you hover over it, it says individually assign. Clicking that gives you this assign to box. Now in here you can type individual names, so if I typed in G-E-N for Genevieve, I can assign this just to Genevieve. Or I can assign it to group GRO, and there the two groups that I have formed pop up. So that is now going to group A, and I can also say let's throw it out to two groups. You can add as many names or groups in here as you want, it's just like um, sending out an email. You can also put individual names, which I'd be even picking on you today. Jen E. Oh, it should not pop up now. So let's go with Leanne. All right, so. Now, if anything we throw into this page, if we hit create, let's type S there, that lesson is now assigned to those two groups, group A and group B, and to one other individual student. And if they would log into Schoology and go into that folder, they would see the lesson there. Everyone else in the class, the, the folder will be blank because nothing has been assigned to them. Now I'm going to go through and show you one more example here. Um, with an assessment. So if we go into quizzes, 
and we wanted to add an assessment as an adder test or quiz. There's the individual assignment button. Everything is exactly the same, except now we just type in, you know, who we want to assign it to, um, and then assign that test or quiz. So it's great for throwing modified assessments out to certain students, um, any kind of accommodation or anything you need to make. Um, one other good idea, uh, discussions. If you have discussions that you want to just have part of your class get involved with, um, you can create several discussions and have one discussion going to one group of students and a separate discussion going to another group, and then maybe you have a whole group discussion. So there are a lot of different ways that you can use this individual assignment to differentiate the, your instruction. And just to kind of quickly go over the things that can be individually assigned, um, assignments, let's see here, assignment, as long as it has the three dots at the bottom, you're able to individually assign it. You can see here that assignments, you do have the ability to do that. You can also do it with um, tests or quizzes, as I mentioned, discussions, and pages. So all of those would have the individual assignment button at the bottom where you can assign to just individual students at a time or groups that you create through that grading groups option in your members page within any of your courses. So at any point, you can go back here and just either edit the groups or create new ones. That's all you need to do. So that's it for how to create and use the grading groups feature in Schoology.